Hi, I'm Gail Laviel, State Representative for the 143rd District, which includes parts of Wilton, Norwalk, and Westport. We're here at the state capitol today, and I wanted to just send you a message about what's going on. Uh, very brief update. We're here for a special session that's been called by the governor because uh, just a few months into our current fiscal year, the state has about a $350 million deficit. There's also a $500 million deficit next year and then a $3.5 billion deficit for the next two-year budget cycle. So it was time to do something about this. Um, and the question is, what do you do? So there is a vote going on today. We're in the middle of having a debate on the House floor on a proposal that has been put out by the majority party, which essentially addresses two issues. One is, how do we close the $350 million deficit we have currently by cutting some various budget items? And how do we also offer a bit of business tax relief to respond to the outcry from businesses that we heard earlier in the summer when the budget passed, businesses like GE, which is very much threatening to leave Connecticut, and a few other businesses. That proposal has some very good things in it. I think that we agree with the majority on quite a number of the uh, short-term cuts, and, and uh, although we are, we do believe in preserving uh, many of the what we would call safety net services uh, to hospitals, to people with intellectual disabilities, to mental health services. But on the whole, um, there's some good things in that proposal. However, I won't be voting for it because unfortunately, the proposal doesn't address the state of affairs where we currently are and have been for a number of years now. Deficits that come one after another because our spending consistently exceeds our revenues. And so even as this $350 million deficit is closed, it will begin to grow again in the current year because nothing will have been done structurally to close our long-term budget deficits and our and basically improve our financial health. Nothing will be done for the out years. So we have offered a proposal as well, uh, Senate and House Republicans, which includes a number of long-term reforms like capping our bonding every year, sticking to the state constitutional spending cap which was originally uh, chosen by the voters of Connecticut, 81%, 23 years ago, in order to protect taxpayers from spending more than they could afford. We also are proposing a number of reforms to the costs of employing uh, members of the public sector unions. In fact, the cost of labor for the state represents more than 35 percent of our budget. We need to look at overtime, we need to look at employee contributions to their retirement benefits, all that sort of thing. So we have a lot of proposals to do that. We also uh, would be requiring the legislature to actually exercise its right to take a vote on every single public sector union contract that is proposed by the executive branch. Currently, the state legislature never exercises that right. So I won't be voting for the majority proposal because I think long-term reforms are necessary to make sure that we restore the state to financial health, that we have revenues that continually are able to cover our expenses without putting on due pressure on taxpayers, and without causing businesses and people to have to spend so much just to ensure the level of government that we have that they feel like they have to leave. So that's our message for today. The session will start next year, the first week in February, so if you have any ideas for new legislation or concerns that you would like me to address between then and now, please let me know. My website is rep laviel.com 
can contact me anytime. Thank you and have a wonderful holiday.